Hey, greetings, YouTube. Uh, we're going to take apart the Sibo ETC powerhead. This powerhead was also equipped on a lot of other vacuums over the years. It's an excellent powerhead, uh, definitely commercial grade. Sometimes it has Windsor, sometimes you'll see the word Patriot on it. Doesn't matter, they're all the same for the most part, and they come apart really easily. So let's go ahead and do that. Definitely give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. You're going to want to fill up the screwdriver a bit. And so let's put all your screws. So we're going to set that aside. And this, the purpose of this, is so that you can pull the brush strip out and change it really with just one tool. If I take the brush strip and we align it, it pulls out of that hole. Kind of a cool feature. That brush strip just pulls off like so. This one's 50-50, probably should be replaced. We probably want to replace those brush strips about every five years or so. Uh, you know, in some use, commercial use, who knows. Let's take the big ones out. I believe that that's all that comes loose. I'm completely wrong, of course. The little ones need to come out, too. Where are the big ones not out all the way? Come on, Powerhead. Oh, I missed the big one. That camouflage is right in. You can see that. Hello. So learn from my mistakes, people. And if it seems like I'm being a little rough on this, I promise you I'm not. Um, this this is quite the tough machine. Um, you can see it's pretty basic. We have an overlord load board, uh, micro switch for up down, um, lifetime belt. Let's go ahead and uh, unscrew some more stuff and then we're going to get the vacuum and just clean it out. And uh, all these screws are pretty simple where they go. I, I think it's pretty obvious. Um, but some of you might not. That just comes up loose like so. You can clean in there and we'll get to this uh, this business here in a second. You can see they put counterweights. They really do a good job. See both trying to make these things heavy duty. All right, go to the back of the machine. Strip that out. We have a nice micro switch with a roller on there. Super heavy duty. Um, nothing against this will work, uh, but this is on a whole nother level. Their consumer level, SIBO, uh, makes a lot of commercial equipment, so all their stuff is meant to last a stupid amount of time. So that just all comes out. That's pretty clean. We don't need to dishwash that. Um, and yeah, we're going to actually all this stuff is going in the dishwasher. Very simple. Yeah. Notice they, uh, they they do epoxy on the back of their circuit boards to keep stuff from coming loose. You know, like the only other people who do that are like companies who contract for like militaries and like super heavy duty equipment like uh, like tactical flashlights, things like that, laser sights, that sort of stuff. So that's that's really cool that they do all that. Um, one thing I gotta pull out I can without breaking it. I always hate pulling these things out. I always feel like they're gonna break. We're gonna pull the uh, this guy out before we wash it. Maybe just press up on that. So 
So we got that up, all ready to wash. And we're gonna put all this stuff in the dishwasher. And uh, one more important steps is putting your vacuum in the dishwasher. So we're gonna put this in the dishwasher. And we just need to do a quick wash cycle with this one. All right, looks like the dishwasher is done. So we're gonna turn it off, open it up. And you can see everything is pretty clean. Some of the carbon dust didn't come off, but it's much nicer than it was. Well, time to put together this power head. It's been washed and cleaned. First step, we're going to put a little bit of oil on the wheel shaft from the inside. And there we go. Alright, that's better. Not making that, that horrible grindy noise. Alright. greasy I don't know what, which part of that what that came from um, uh, I did not wash these I didn't want to take the grease or the lubricant that may have been in these so we're gonna do two things a little bit of compressed air um, and it's interesting that they've been greased I bet you somebody else some technician did that somewhere um, who really didn't know what they were doing. Try to make it a little easier for y'all to see. Um, yeah, so we'll put some oil on that. I also blew this out off camera, but I think we could use one more puff puff. Just, just for good measure. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff together. And it's been a few days, uh, so my memory of how this came apart is uh, I've done a few of these over the years, uh, but they're always far and few in between. That's that's kind of the one of the reasons you buy a Cebo. Uh, they also use this nozzle on the Patriot. They've used this. They've used this nozzle has been sold and used by anybody who wants a heavy duty vacuum nozzle. This is one of the toughest vacuum nozzles on the market. Um, in fact, they even used this motor was used in a floor polisher. That's how tough uh, this is. And Sebo always has these nice little tuck-ins for all the wires and stuff there. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, there's tuck-ins right there. Zoom out a little bit for you. So we'll continue to put all this together. But everything just kind of slides in. There's not there's not much to this. Most power heads actually are meant to be serviced, uh, but this is exceptional how easy this is and nice this is to service. Um, yeah. In fact, if I had to guess, looking at how everything is, yeah, I we'll want that over there. All right. So we got this nice mystery bin of parts. Take these actually don't go to that, they go to this, so we'll set those in the hand by themselves. But you can see that's together, and then this switch it just plops itself uh, down in here, just like so. And you can see this. Just how that works. So I'm going to start putting all these screws back in.
I'm not hearing that click when that's in. I wonder if that's worn out. Hmm. We'll see when I put that together if that's correct. So you have a variety of other things going on here. We have two bigger screws. Those are for the motor. And we're going to put those on, but we're going to leave them a little loose. We're not going to snug them up quite yet. This brush strip needs to be replaced. I don't have another one on hand, unfortunately. So it's going to have to go back in, but they're easy to replace without taking it apart. Um, we still have a ton of crap inside this brush. How'd that happen? So I'm going to pull all this crap, crud out of here. Make sure it's good to go for a minute. Really appreciate that they put balancing marks on this molded. You can see it's two piece. That's that. We're going to use a vacuum to try and get all that cord out. It's all full of like oil and crap, so it doesn't really want to go. Just scrape it out with the screwdriver some more. So these are the less exciting things you do as a vacuum technician. There we go. Pressed air got that piece out. There we go. Now it's budging. And that's what we are trying to pull out. So that's probably, well, if I could just get in there with this, just wipe it down, make sure it's nice and clean. That would be what this was. So I had the battery die. So we've, we've just put that together, really didn't miss anything. Um, we have drive side and non-drive side when we're putting this together. And this being a sleeve bearing, I'm going to wipe that down with a Q-tip first. Make sure it's nice and clean. Oh, you know, the, I don't think that is a sleeve bearing in there. I think there is... Oh, I always thought these were sleep bearings. That one appears to be some sort of ball bearing. Let's see, is this a C's ball bearing? Where's this? A sleep bearing, I'm just stupid. Yep. So I was right. One side is a sleep bearing, I just never noticed the other side. Okay. Let's uh, you learn something new every day, especially about something as oddball as this is. Okay. 
would appear. That plus that. Yep, that's how that goes together. And you'll notice I'm not putting the brush strip in yet. And I'll show you why not. That's not its turn to go in. Get those up. Now we're going to put the belt on. Just walk the belt on like so. Now that we're together, there's a couple things we're going to do. First thing I'm going to do is just dress the belt with some soap. This helps reduce noise and helps work out any cred that would have gotten there. So that is how that is. Hold on. We're going to check the belt tension. And now, And now we tighten the motor screws. And I I tighten them with the drill, but I'm pretty paranoid about this sort of thing, so I do like to just make sure by hand everything is nice and torqued. Hopefully I'm not in the front. Sure. Beautiful. Now there's uh, this gizmo, which goes uh forget how he goes in he goes in <laughs> uh he goes in over here on this one so yeah that goes in right there i don't know why that's interchangeable maybe i guess if this melts off it's not melting the housing but it's this thing's wildly over engineered so i'm not it wouldn't surprise me if they did that um all right Got all that together. So you have this little piece left, and I'll explain what this is for here in a minute. And there's some animal hair that's over there, so we're going to get that out. See, that's still kind of a mess of that one needs to be cleaned up. That all goes on there just like so, it goes on straight. And we'll put this on this back side. And those last two sc screws that are not machine thread, they actually go right here and hold the rest of the neck in place. Um, and then when I do the, these, I like to turn the torque down on these. I feel you can over torque these real easily. Which is deceiving because they're big old screws and everything. They go into a br brass grommets that are set in the plastic and it, those come loose. And just to feel everything else by hand. Again, because there's 
the the G series has these sort of grommets, and they come out if you over torque them. You just gotta kind of feel with that. So you notice we're all together, except I still didn't put that brush in. I'll show you that. That's the coolest thing. So when you rotate this, yep, you just now there's a there's a end with the cut out like that, and there's an end with the stopper. You want the narrow end? You just slide it in like so. And you can see the brush is right where you want it. And now, this is a little bit of dirt on here. Let's grab my brush and just clean that off. Now you can put this on here. And again, I recommend doing this by hand. Now, I'll talk about this here in a minute, but let's get the crud off there. Where is my magic, my magic spray bottle for that? Let's give everything a test run, make sure it's working properly uh, before we send it off into the world. turns on when the bag is full. The green light for operating worked on this. Um, and uh, you got the covers, everything's cleaned up. It's good to go. Well, thanks for watching this video. And if you like videos like this, definitely check out our Patreon page and the rest of the YouTube channel. Consider a subscription. And uh, we do almost daily upgrade updates on Instagram, so go check us out there. Have a wonderful day.